Hey guys, I'm here again for my second uh, mock review. This is a Hero Factory mock with a bunch of bionicle parts attached to him. And well, let's get right into the review. I start my review off by looking at the mask or helmet that comes with the figure. This mask is Toa Naparu's mask from the Mari series. As you can see it has the uh, air supply right there, or where he breathes. It has inside this clear piece. I don't know if it's right into the back of there. Air tube notches. So yeah, that's basically a mask. You don't really need to review the mask. It's been reviewed a bunch since 2007, I think. And the head is a shadow Matoran head. And just kind of basic. Put his mask back on. Uh, his format is the Hero Factory 2.0. I did make a 1.0 version of him, but I changed him because the 2.0 was more awesome and I got a third 2.0 figure that I could build all three of my uh, 1.0 mocks. Will I put them in 2.0? Probably not. Well, I mean 3.0? Uh, probably, probably not. If I do, their colors will change and they'll be more different. So continuing with the 2.0 you basically have the skeleton and then you put the armor on it's more about the ball joints ball and socket. So here's the main chest armor piece you can break it into threes you have this purple hero core yellow chest piece and a light gray under armor piece oh yeah if I haven't told you already this is my uh, I named the mock pepper blaze only because blaze sounds totally awesome and ironic for the weapons he has and pepper because I kinda of made him a uh, self Self mock. The other two teammates are uh, of my friends' names. I have a Bionicle self mock to show you it next. But anyway, he's got the sh he's got the shortest or smallest piece of armor for these guys. It is a three, and I just dropped it on the floor. See so, yeah. Uh, medium piece, the number, the number four piece right here. And then the yellow feet from the 2.0 series. Onto the arms. Not seeing a number on here, but this is, uh, I would say largest piece of armor that you could have protecting arms or legs of your hero. It's got this purple spike jutting out of it. And here, his hand is basically a Zamro, a silver Zamro sphere launcher with uh, dark dark red translucent uh, Viserac eyes yeah those were Viserac right? yeah the Viserac eyes two of these pieces holding these into place with the knobs on here that can form his machine gun uh, basically it'll it's mainly for stop motion take that out Take the pic take the picture with them both in, take the picture with it out. 
put this one back in and do that, you know, just just like that. Fantoka hand that connects it all together. This builds up his right hand, all of the uh, all of his teammates have bionicle shootable weaponry on their hands and I have a loader here connected to his back just push that out pull a sphere out carries blue spears just call them ice spheres now onto his left hand weapon he's got the normal he's got the uh, normal hero factory 2.0 hand one of the armor pieces two red translucent baraki eyes then one of these spears flexible so kids don't poke themselves and severely injure themselves and then an orange tube from a mars yeah mars mission set that goes into his back and right into another Fantoka hand. That black Fantoka hand. It's basically his wrist connected weapon. Then the neck then the weapon on the back of his arm is an ice blaster. A little pick right there. So you can blah. He's got this uh dark translucent blue lightsaber end it's basically showing the ice so you see now why blaze would be an ironic name for him I think I'm using the right word ironic uh, because Blaze you would consider with fire, but this character deals with ice weaponry. Like this, even though it, like, not a projectile weapon, like that, can use it in the stop motion, shooting out these crystallized spheres, spears at his enemies to uh, further damage them and possibly paralyze them. So, just like my review of Toa Tanma, if you want to see the instructions on how I built this, request it in the comments, or make a video request saying that you want to, me to show you how to build this. Um, you would need Evo, yeah, you would need uh, Evo 2.0, Inferno 2.0 to uh, build this. And, you know, a uh, Mari tube. You don't have to have the orange. I just used the orange because it was extra with a Mars mission set that I got off of eBay. So, this has been a Pepper 3344 review. Stay tuned for my next mock review. And I'm signing out.